Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Today in Town Packers podcast. My name is Griffin. You can follow me on Instagram at All Day Packers, and I'm joined, as always, by my good friend Braun, who you can follow on Instagram at Lambo.Leapers. And we are back not to talk about practice, unfortunately, because it got rained out today. We wake up to the very unfortunate news that Matt LaFleur moved today's practice inside the Don Hudson Center, close to the public, because of the weather. He said it wasn't because of the weather. But uh, it was raining anyways, so um, yeah, no practice today. We thought we were going to fit uh, fit another one in today. Um, we're leaving tomorrow, which is Monday, and uh, we're going to go to our last practice tomorrow if the weather allows us to, which hopefully it looks like right now it will. So instead of discussing practice today, like we have the past few podcasts, by the way, if you haven't listened to those, make sure to go back and listen because we've been in Green Bay for the past week to cover training camp and we've done a three podcasts since we got here. So make sure to go listen to those if you haven't because they're all in person and I think our in-person podcasts are uh, some of the best work we do here, Ron. You want to come in here to discuss what we're doing today? Yeah, Griff. So everybody, we are going to be looking back on some old tweets from some of your favorite players, which is always fun and fascinating and kind of risky. At kind times. of risky, could get canceled. Did you see anything in our search for old old tweets? Did you see anything that could get someone canceled? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh God, are you gonna cancel someone live on the air? We may get a cancellation or two. Well, everyone, get your get your Twitter fingers ready. Um, nothing, nothing in my playbook here is gonna get anyone canceled. The the closest thing I saw, I didn't see anything bad. The Packers draft good people. That's the truth of it. So basically what we did is we both dug through a bunch of old tweets from uh, Packers players from when they were in high school, when they were in college, and we're going to like quiz each other basically. Like uh, We have eight tweets each. It's going to be multiple choice questions. We have four different options attached to every single tweet. So this could be a fun segment, won't it, Bron? Do you want to go ahead and get started? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I guess in that case I will go first. Okay, Griffin, this player tweeted, Wow, Lambo, great to see you again tonight. There's no place like home. In August 2013, is it A, Aaron Rodgers? Is it B, Mason Crosby? C, David Bakhtiari? Or D, Randall Cobb? Wow, that is tough. 2013. So all of mine are from high school, college. I was wrong about yours being from high school and college. Um, But this is a good one. This is a good one. So it could be, I don't think Crosby would tweet that. I don't think Crosby is very active on. He he didn't make an Instagram until a couple years ago. I don't know about Twitter. Um, Rogers would not have tweeted that. I'm taking Rogers out, so I'm down to Bakhtiari and Cobb. Bakhtiari wasn't drafted until 2013, so he wouldn't be saying, "Great to see you again." So I'm going with D. Randall Cobb. Your instincts are incorrect. It oh, was Mason Crosby. Aaron Rodgers. It was Aaron Rodgers. He Aaron tweeted Rod- that in 2013. Aaron Ro- Aaron Charles Rogers tweeted, "Wow, Lambo." Great to see you again tonight. There's no place like home. I love this man. That makes me like him even more. I figured you'd like. I was on the fence about liking him, but that's wholesome start to the show, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Wholesome start to the show. All right, I'm gonna go next year. That's a great tweet. Okay, really good. My first tweet, kind of a softball here. Okay. Okay. This was tweeted on December 27th, 2014. I play my last game for Penn State today. Been a long journey. Hashtag blessed. Adrian Amos. You're correct. Hey! <laughs> you, you, you knew. Bam! You knew Adrian Amos went to Penn State. Yes. Wow. Can't think of anybody else who did. Wow. That was impressive. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know the colleges like that. Really, I don't. Okay. I know like the major. I know the guys I have to know. But, yeah. Um, Amos, I couldn't have told you where Amos went to college. Um, wow. But the the options were Adrian Amos, Dean Lowry, Devondre Campbell. John Runyon Jr. So, oh, I would have said Dean. Just kidding. I said the right answer. <laughs> yeah, you would have said Dean. Okay, good job there. So nice. far, you are winning. We, What's new, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, yeah. We seem to do these challenges, and they always end up in my favor. It's kind of odd. Is that true? Packers guess who? I can't remember who won that. Neither can I. <laughs> I can't remember recording that. <laughs> <laughs> 4 a.m. that one was. That was, the, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a rough one. Okay, I guess it's, I guess it's my turn again. Okay, this one is a little bit interesting because I looked for this tweet and it ended up coming twice. So this player tweeted this on the same day, back-to-back years, exact tweet, on draft day in 2016 and 2017. And I quote, all these commercials, angry emoji. (laughs) Back-to-back years. (laughs) Back-to-back years this was tweeted. And the options are... 
A. Preston Smith. B. Randall Cobb. C. Jordan Love. D. Adrian Amos. Not so, happy with the commercials on draft day. <laughs> clearly. Twice you, in a row. Did you know that this player had tweeted that before? No, no but so I had you were, seen it twice. So you were row. looking for their tweets, and they tweeted the same exact thing yes. back-to-back seasons. That's kind of crazy. So I'm not familiar with Randall Cobb's Twitter activity. Um, but I am familiar Fake with... Fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with Preston Smith's Instagram story activity, and that feels like something he would put on the story. He's kind of wild on the stories. He really is. <laughs> He gets wild on there. I don't think Amos would say that. Well, Amos gets wild on Twitter, too. I don't know if you've seen him. Yeah, he's an active tweeter. He yeah. is. But, I don't know. This just feels like something Preston would tweet. So, I'm going Preston. No thoughts on Jordan Love's Twitter activity before you... No, Jordan. He's a quarterback. Like, I was trying to get an old tweet from Jordan Love, but, like, he didn't have anything. Because it, it makes sense. As a quarterback, you can't go out there tweeting whatever you want. You know? You, you're going to be the face of a franchise, you're hoping. Not him. Not <laughs> <laughs> okay, Preston Smith. That is correct. Yes. Okay, so you got I'm one I'm on there. the board. Isn't that interesting? Twice in a... Yeah, okay. I don't think he realized he tweeted Did he it. know? I probably... I doubt he The same knew. emoji? He's just who he is. Same <laughs> emoji. God, Preston. He's crazy. Preston's such a fun Twitter and Instagram follow. And my second one here. This is from December 28th, 2015. This one's a little controversial. Nothing's more attractive than a woman with ambition and goals. Heart eyes emoji. <laughs> okay. Is that A, Dean Lowry? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it is. B, Devontae Wyatt. C, Aaron Jones. Or D, Danny Etling. I'm going to go with Devontae Wyatt. No thoughts? No thoughts. Devontae Wyatt. Yep. You're wrong. No, really? Yeah. I'm not going to give you a point, but do you want a second guess? No. It's Aaron Jones. Wow. Yeah. I feel like I would have guessed Aaron Jones on that. You would have? Yeah. I don't know why, but I feel like I would have. That's a very basic... I mean, like, that's a very basic statement. Yeah. I'd like a quality woman, tweet. (laughs) Oh, hot take. No, it'd be (laughs) be so funny if that was Dean, though. No, I really (laughs) wanted it to be Dean. I should have just guessed Dean. Yeah. I feel like it's something, if you would have put it on there if it was Dean. <laughs> I thought you were going to go with Etling there. He's, I don't know He why. was the clear outlier. You yeah. were just thinking of another player to put that I on. was, yeah. <laughs> we are both one for two here, Griff, and it is once again my turn. Which player tweeted this? Started my morning by being chased by two dogs. And how's yours going so far? In January 2020. Is it A, AJ Dillon? B, Dominique Daphne, friend of the show? C, Rasul Douglas, or D, Eric Stokes? In January 2020? In January 2020. Wow, that's a tough one. Any emojis? Nope. No emojis? How about punctuation? There's a question mark in there. How's your morning going? How's your day going? How's yours going so far? Oh, okay. Grammatically correct, I'm going to have to go with A.J. Dillon. Final answer. You're wrong. Oh, is it Dom? No. It's Rasul? No. Oh, my God. It's Eric Stokes. (laughs) So, not bad. Your fourth guess out of four. (laughs) Eric Stokes tweeted that in January 2020. I hope he's okay. Well, that was two years ago, so. (laughs) Before we drafted him. Yeah. Okay, number three. You're you're one for three now. One for three. My third tweet here. From August 9th, 2015. I've been watching this movie the night before football camp every year since I was 10. Hashtag FNL, hashtag camp day one. And attached is a picture of the movie Friday Night Lights. Was that A, A.J. Dillon, B, Dean Lowry, C, Elton Jenkins, or D, Eric Stokes? I think this one's going to be Mean Dean. What makes you say that? Just feels like something he'd tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the last one that you mentioned him with. <laughs> in a good way or a bad way? In a good way. This feels like a mean Dean tweet. It is Dean this Lowry. This feels like a nice Dean tweet. It's Dean Lowry. All right. There we go. He, he loves Friday Night Lights. Apparently. <laughs> well, good job. You're now two for three. 
Two for you, three. you have two on the board. I have one on the board. So Okay. I've got some catching up to do here. Here's another fun one, Griff. In response to the Tom Brady Madden 18 premium cover, this player tweeted, Goat Edition, laughing emoji, laughing emoji, in May 2017. Is it A, Sammy Watkins, hmm. or B, Rasul Douglas, C, Jordan Love, or D, Adrian Amos? Wow, I was thinking this was an old Packer. I'm thinking this is like, I was thinking this was Randall Cobb or something. Like someone who's going to have Aaron's back here. But all these guys are indifferent to Roger's case as the GOAT. Right? I don't think... At this time, um, yes. Well, yeah. (laughs) Who knows who they think is the GOAT at this point? Mm. It doesn't say. Sammy Watkins. Who was he playing for in 17? Chiefs, maybe? Maybe he was still with the Bills. I can't remember. I don't know why he would tweet that. Rasul. Hmm. I don't think it's Jordan. I just don't think Jordan is very active on Twitter to tweet anything that's that would have made either of our lists. So I'm counting out Jordan. And then the other options are who? Rasul. Sammy Watkins, Rasul Douglas, Jordan Love, and Adrian Amos. This feels like something Adrian would tweet. He loves to put out his opinion on Twitter. He does. It's very outspoken, right? Now, it's kind of controversial to state your opinion on the face of the NFL, arguably. Um, and I feel like Adrian's a guy who would who would do that. So I'm going to go with Adrian Amos. That is incorrect. Oh, my God. It was Sammy? It was Jordan Love. It was Jordan, Jordan Love? Jordan He tweeted Love. that? Our quarterback three tweeted that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Our, our backup quarterback did tweet that, yes. Who does he think is the GOAT? That is fascinating. Who did he think was the GOAT in 2017? Peyton Manning? Aaron Rodgers? Rodgers? Maybe. I feel like he would have said that by now. I feel like he if hasn't he... hasn't not said it. No, but if he thought Aaron Rodgers was the GOAT when he was in high school, college, I feel like he would have said at some point, like, well, you know, I'm backing up the greatest quarterback of all time. Not if he's trying to win the job. Mm. Wow. I don't know. I feel like he... I don't think he met Rogers, though. Probably met Peyton. I don't know. Where, where did he grow up? He Utah? went to Utah State. Yeah. I don't know. Wow, he doesn't like Brady, though, so... You know what? Bonus points in my book. Maybe he is the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, you are one for four. Hot start. This is from June twenty second, 2018. At Fortnite, can we have the old music back? <laughs> <laughs> was it A. Yash Nyman B. Romeo Dobbs C. Dean Lowry or D. Rasul Douglas I'm gonna go with Yash You think it was Yash? You think Yash is a big Fortnite guy? I just don't think it was any of the other three guys <laughs> Romeo, quiet, reserved Rasul, not, not, I don't follow that one And you already had one from Mean Dean I don't think he's Maybe it's him again I, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna stick with my original answer, though. You're incorrect. No, it was Mean Dean. No, it was Romeo Dobbs. Wow, yeah. no. Romeo, big Fortnite guy. Wow. Fortnite and was... he really wanted that old music back. <laughs> he did. He went out of his way to add Fortnite. And it's like, you know, on Twitter, like, if if the first character of your tweet is the at symbol, like you're adding someone, it doesn't show up in everyone's timelines. It's only, like, it shows up in that person's replies, whoever you're adding. They're the only ones who, like, get notified about that, right? So he tweeted at Fortnite game. So, like, he went out of his way just to, like, basically DM Fortnite. Well. Can we get the old music back? Fortnite was at its peak in 2018. Different era. Okay. But now he's messaging Fortnite, this game, about changing the music. Is that noteworthy to me? Not really. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> is any of this noteworthy? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Roger's saying he misses home or whatever. That that's was really nice. sweet. That was very nice. That's like that's up there with I miss hugs. Who tweeted that? Do you remember that? Rogers. It was oh, an Instagram yeah, post. Yeah, yeah. During the pandemic. Said, yeah. That it was, was nice. like nine slides of him hugging people. That's when he started getting like really like lovey, you know. Like that's where I feel like not only his career turned around, but also his uh, spirituality. Yeah, yeah. I am now two for four. Griffin, here's another one for you. This is your fifth. This player tweeted, Tom is goaded 
took a team that ain't been to a Super Bowl 10 plus years. It's crazy. In January 2021. Is it A, Christian Watson? B, Romeo Dobbs? C, Tariq Carpenter? Or D, Samari Torre? I don't like this at all. It's not going to be fun, whoever no, it is. No, this is not. I don't want any any of my rookies who promote Tom Brady propaganda like this is going to make me like them even a little bit less. So, I'm going to I'm going to hope this is someone who who I really have no attachment to emotionally yet. So, I'm going to go with my heart here and guess that it was Tariq Carpenter. That's incorrect. Oh my god, I'm 1 for 5. Don't tell me it was C what it was Romeo. No! <laughs> Romeo! No. It's okay. He was a young pup then. He's got Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback now. He has, hopefully... He's seen the light now. You know, he was talking about Aaron throws the prettiest ball I've ever seen, stuff like that, the most perfect ball. Yeah. He's seen the light. Yeah, he's, he would never say that now. Yeah. He was young. He was... Young and dumb. Inexperienced. He was tweeting about Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, he was tweeting about Fortnite. He didn't bro. know what it was. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're up again. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one from March 11th, 2014. Quote, This random dude in the dining hall just asked if I wanted his leftover pork. Hashtag what? <laughs> Hashtag what? <laughs> <laughs> Was this A, Quay Walker, B, Jordan Love, C, Sammy Watkins, or D, Dean Lowry? You got a lot of Dean in here. <laughs> That is Quay Walker. 100% that's Quay. That's Quay? That's 100% Quay Walker. It's not Quay Walker. What? No. Is it Dean? It's Dean Lowry. No, it isn't. (laughs) Shut up. Are you kidding? No. Oh, it's not Dean? No, it is Dean. It's Dean. It's Dean? Dean? No. What? (laughs) That's such a Dean tweet. Why are you doing double up on Dean here? My goodness. Why'd you pick so many Dean tweets? (laughs) He's just so funny, man. (laughs) He's not even funny. You're just making fun of him. <laughs> this guy asked for his pork. <laughs> what is wrong with No, you? no. This guy asked him if he wanted his pork. <laughs> what? Hashtag what? Hashtag what? Was it W-U-T? No, it's W spelled correctly. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's better or worse. Uh, that would have been good to know. Maybe I would have changed my answer. <laughs> All right, I am now two for five. You are one for five. I'm winning. As of right now, but I've got some... Uh, I'm going to catch up here. Okay, shut up, Griff. Let me go here. (laughs) (laughs) This player was asked, what do you put in your hair? To which he replied, alligator tears and a touch of fairy dust for the hold. In July 2014. Oh, my God. July 2014, Griff. Was it A, David Bakhtiari? B, Royce Newman? C, Aaron Rodgers? Or D, Sean Ryan? God, I don't. I want to say Sean Ryan because he seems the type, but he was too young. I think this feels like something Aaron would too say. Too young to say that he has in twenty fourteen. Yeah, hair? in twenty fourteen. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that seems like something Aaron would say, but I don't know who's asking him about his hair. I don't know if in twenty fourteen he would have answered a question like that. He was more active on Twitter back then, but still, I don't think he would have answered that. David feels right, but how many guys were tweeting David at in twenty fourteen? And then who was the other one? Who was the other? Royce Newman. Yeah, I think he was also too young in 2014 to tweet something so sarcastic and funny. So I'm down to Bach and Rogers. I, I don't think he would double up on Rogers. So I'm going to go with David Bakhtiari tweeted that. You are correct. Yes. That's a good one. Back in it, tweet? baby. Back in it. Bach in it. <laughs> Bach in it, baby. You know, one time David Bakhtiari retweeted me. About two years ago. I tweeted at him a picture of his headshot from his rookie year and then a picture of uh, a recent picture of him. And I said, the biggest glow up that nobody talks about. And he retweeted it with laughing emojis. Nice. That's my claim to fame. Yeah. I'll take that over the Packer page, this podcast, you. I'll take that tweet. Over <laughs> okay. Anyway. Very good. Okay. I'm up next. This one from October 9th, 2014. A lot of 2014 tweets on mine. I don't want to be famous. I just want some real money. The kind you can't count with your hands. No punctuation. Was that A, Yash Nyman? B, Devondre Campbell? C, Josh Myers? Or D, Samari Torre? I frankly have no idea. (laughs) 
<laughs> this is this is maybe an opinion that everyone has. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure. You know, it's a great saying. What's better than being rich and famous? Being rich. That's basically this tweet. Basically. And again, I have no idea. <laughs> you gotta think, does that feel like a Yash tweet? Yeah, that I'm not sure that feels like a Yash tweet. I don't know if I know Samari enough to judge that. You don't know our seventh round pick? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know Adrian Amos went to Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I don't know. That seems like Devondre, too. This was 2014. 2014. I'm going to go Devondre. You're right. All right. It's Devondre Campbell. I think the other guys are a little too young to be talking about money. They can't count with their hands. <laughs> You're right. So I go with Devondre, yeah. That makes me three for six. You are two for six. This player tweeted, not funny, ESPN, in July 2013. <laughs> that was the tweet. Not funny, ESPN. No tags, no comments. What? <laughs> No emojis, no punctuation. It's three words. Not funny, ESPN. <laughs> oh my God. And they didn't add ESPN? Nope. Uh, who are my options here? Good Lord. A, Aaron Rodgers. B, Mason Crosby. C, Royce Newman. Or D, David Bakhtiari. Aaron would never tweet something that empty. He would have a hashtag. Not funny, ESPN. ESPN. He would have a hashtag at the end, at the very least. Mason Crosby, I don't know if... I just feel like he doesn't know how to use his own phone. <laughs> so, so maybe that what is What is him. wrong with you? <laughs> what is that supposed so to be? So that mean? might be him, honestly. Do you picture Mason to be this old grandpa? I do. Literally, I do. He's not even 40 years old. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You wouldn't know that by his hair. Okay, and then who's the other option? David? Maybe David. I don't know. And then... Who was the other one? Royce? Royce Newman, who was I, probably the ripe age of 14 at this time. Now, I feel like I could see a 14-year-old tweeting that, you know? So, wow, I'm stuck here. But I'm going to go with my heart, my heart of hearts, which says it's Royce Newman. You are incorrect. Oh, my God. Do you want to take a second guess before I tell you? Um, no points, though, available. Yeah, I'll go with David. It's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers tweeted not funny ESPN? In July of 2013. Aaron, come on, man. Hey, he started the ESPN hate early. He did, man. He never did, never since changed. <laughs> wow. All right. I'm up next. What am I, two two for seven? Yeah, Griff, you're two for seven. So I've got one more for you, but you have another for me. Okay, well. okay. So this is my sixth. Yeah, this is my sixth one right here. This is, this is my seven. seventh one right here. Okay, anyways. This is from, uh, what do you know, another 2014 one. This is June 11th, 2014. This is a retweet of the Dumb and Dumber 2 trailer. Ha ha, can't wait, or this. I'm assuming this player meant can't wait for this, but the tweet goes, ha ha, can't wait, or this. Well, it sounds like they can't use their phone, so I'm going to go with Mason Crosby. <laughs> now, your options are Royce Newman, Tyler Davis, Dean Lowry, Jair Alexander. Ha ha, can't wait or this. This is in response to... This is Dean to, Lowry. This is in this response to Dumb and Dumber 2. I'm going to end this show for good if this is Dean Lowry. <laughs> Why do you hate Dean? It's not that I hate Dean, it's just this will be the third one you got on I'll him. give you your options again. Royce Newman, Tyler Davis, Dean Lowry, Jair Alexander. Who do you think is excited for Dumb and Dumber 2? That's what we should call this podcast. <laughs> uh, I am going to... Well, I don't think it's Jair. I think he's a little too classy for I can't wait or this. Um, wait, and Dumber Dumber 2. No. Dumber Dumber 1. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, but the, the sequel 15 years later, it's never good. I don't even think Jim Carrey was in that. Was he? I don't even know if he I, was. I don't know. Yeah. I never saw it. <laughs> Somebody did. They couldn't wait or this. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, it really could be Royce, but he was young. I don't know. You know what? I think it's an older player because what are the chances a guy like Royce has seen Dumb and Dumber? I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. I think I'm going to go Dean. I'm g I think I'm going to go Dean just because I don't think Tyler and Royce are old enough to have, like, appreciated Dumb and Dumber. Maybe I'm wrong. 
This I'm is like go- the fourth time you've guessed Dean Lowry. No, it's the, like the second, and I like I got one right, and the other I didn't get right. This is his. This so is your third. final answer is Dean Lowry. Yep. You're correct. Oh my gosh, it's we Dean went Lowry. with Dean again, yes, and I got dude, it. Dude, I just I couldn't get enough of this guy. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> mean Dean. He's not mean Dean. <laughs> I can't wait for this Dean. <laughs> Dean is talking about Friday Night Lights. These people giving him his pork in the dining hall, and now he's excited for Dumb and Dumber too. God, <laughs> Dean catches a lot of heat from us on this show. From you, from you. <laughs> I think Dean's good. Dean's fine. Dean's fine. He's funny on Twitter. He should get into commentary when he retires. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's not that like he's not that funny he's just a normal guy i know he's just such a normal guy that it makes me laugh <laughs> he, like could you not see him being like your cousin who lives in wisconsin <laughs> all right whatever like, sh- i'm <laughs> four for seven here you are two for seven so wow okay griff this is your last one this player tweeted wow forgot how sensitive people were on here Oh, in July boy. 2011. Is this Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> <laughs> he, I, he is an option. A. Devondre Campbell. B. Aaron Rodgers. C. Mason Crosby. Or D. Adrian Amos. You want me to guess Crosby so bad. <laughs> you don't know anything about him. You wouldn't triple up on Aaron. Devondre, this is something I could see Devondre tweeting. And it's something I could see Amos tweeting. Wow, flip a coin here. Let me think. 2011, Amos was drafted in 2014, I think, because he was free agent in 18. So, yeah, drafted in 14, so he would have been in college in 2011. So The level of overthinking you do Yeah, this is, is it incredible. doesn't matter. This is literally a coin flip. You're Devondre trying to figure out when he Amos. was in college. Devondre or Amos? You know what? I'm going to go with Devondre. Oh, well, you finally... No, no, you didn't get it. It was oh, wrong. Right. It's Amos? No. Mason Crosby? No. It's Rodgers. Rodgers. <laughs> oh, my God. You tripled up on Rodgers. Just like you you're quadrupled you're up whining, on Dean. You're whining about me choosing Dean three times. It's all part of my strategy. Oh, my God. Wow, Oh, you finished a solid two for eight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my last one here. From August 8th, 2016. Your hashtag MCM, Man Crush Monday, for those of you who don't know. Your MCM wears cargo shorts and a wife beater when he lifts. Now, I feel like the meaning of this tweet has been lost in time because I don't know if he's joking. I can't remember. In 2016, was it like a meme to say that like your MCM is like bad thing or was it like your MCM is like me? I don't know. White, uh, cargo shorts and a wife beater when he lifts. What do you think of that? Is that a bad look? Can you finish the tweet? <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the tweet. That's it. What? Yeah, your MCM wears cargo shorts and a wife beater when he lifts. I thought he was going to say, like, your man crush Monday wears a tank top and cargo shorts when he lifts, but I... Oh, no, no, no. He's this just is, saying this statement. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I feel like in 2016 Why this meant something. Why did you pick this exactly? <laughs> because I liked it. <laughs> God, you're terrible on both sides of this game. Your options are Alan Lazard, Robert... <laughs> Robert the Hobbit Tunyon. <laughs> Robert Tunyon. Pick my goodness. Dominique Daphne or Darnell Savage. Your MCM wears cargo shorts and a wife beater when he lives. I don't know. <laughs> what a dumb tweet. Why'd you pick this? You picked not funny ESPN. <laughs> that was at least funny. What is this? This is the most <laughs> random tweet in, in the history of, of the world. And plus, Rogers tweeted that. If I find out that Darnell tweeted this, it will not change anything in my life. When you found out Aaron tweeted not funny ESPN, you know what would have been shocked. You know what would have been funny if I, if like I had four options and you guessed, and then I said no, it's Dean Lowry. <laughs> No, none of the options. That would have been so funny. It's not Dean Lowry. I would have thrown you across the room. <laughs> it's one of the four options I gave you. Okay, can you repeat them again? Because oh, I don't think God. anybody, including myself, remembers them. Alan Lazard, Robert Tunyon, Dominique Daphne, Darnell Savage. 
I think it was Dom. You probably tried to squeeze a Dom one in there because he's been on our show twice. How are you so good at this? I don't get it. <laughs> You're like, this is complete luck. This is so random. Five for eight. And you go five for eight? I don't think it was luck at all. I've, I strategized that whole way. God. It was Dom. Someone needs to check the record of all the different segments we've done on the show, all the different games we've played, and find out who's won them. Well, you did terrible in the fantasy draft. The fantasy draft I did okay in. Our viewers thought otherwise. Okay, I didn't do that bad, all right? We had pretty even teams. You just had Devontae and Rodgers, so it's like, I can't beat that. I'm you screwed could... from when I didn't know his birthday. Then why did you pick Raven Green? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, back to this. Well, Griff, you were outsmarted once again. <laughs> all right, is that, is that going to do it? I don't know. I, just, I think the viewers want to sit here for a minute and think about how I got five of these out of eight, and you only got two. All right, that's going to do it for the show, I guess. It was a short one today because, like I said, no practice, nothing to really talk about. But that was a fun segment. Not, Yeah, it was fun for you. More fun than it was for me. I but, enjoyed um, it. Hope it was good to listen to. If you enjoyed it, let us know. Rate it five stars on iTunes, YouTube, um, Spotify. You can't rate it on YouTube. Leave a comment. Whatever. Thanks you for are listening. disappointed <laughs> in this loss here. It's very, very sad for you, I guess. You Thank know, you for listening. You've turned into a sad human being just now. <laughs> Everything coming out of your mouth is with pure dread. This loss ruined me, and I don't think I'll recover. No, I'm joking. Thank you for listening. Uh, share it with your friends and family. Tune in tomorrow or the next day, whenever, because we'll be back with another podcast. This kid's giving up here. <laughs> He's just giving up. We'll, we'll Tune in or a- don't. Who cares? <laughs> we'll be back with another podcast. Um, not game related, but actually like talking about the Packers. So, uh, stay tuned for that one. Thank you so much for listening as always. Go Pack Go. Thanks for listening everybody to my victories as always. Go Pack Go. (laughs) 